ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the cross car and the RX150 Championship Round 2 Final of the 2024 British Rallycross 5 Nations Trophy. It is pole position for the RX150, Patrick O'Donovan. Then in second position on our grid, we have the number 73 winner of race one a, a couple of days ago, Max Weatherly. And then we've got on the outside, Richard Rees in third spot. We are green light racing. We are heading down towards Talladega for the first time. And it's an incredible start there from Richard Rees piling down in towards turn number one as we've got, well, o O'Donovan off the circuit. We've got an, like four different cars off the circuit there in towards turn number one. It's absolute pandemonium as we look down the order. Uh, and ultimately, David Atwell has made his way up in... Oh, it's a big off there for the number 44. Ethan Rowles gets it all wrong at the bottom of the jump. And ultimately, he's now going to end up to the back of the grid. David Atwell has moved up yet another position. So Atwell's moved up from... Well, where did he start in this race? He was down in seventh position. He's already up to P4. Wow. Incredible stuff there from Atwell as O'Donovan by the looks of things, is also making his way back through the pack. We see a move potentially being made by Will Butler, and Will Butler will actually get it done because Atwell brings the cross car into the Joker. Nicely done. There's Luke Holly as well, the number 23, getting back into position as we head through Talladega for the second time. What an incredible race start there. There was cars off the circuit uh, at the, before the jump. There was cars off the circuit at the end of the jump. It was absolutely bananas. Really crazy action as we come through the devil's elbow. So you've got David Atwell who's going to try and make up a couple of extra positions uh, at the midway point of this race. You've got the number 73, now Max Weatherly, of course, a race winner. And then you've got O'Donovan just in behind. O'Donovan's going to try and slide it through the final corner. But do we see a potential move? Well, actually, Weatherly decides to bring the car through the Joker as to not run side by side into that final turn. It would have cost him so much time. It's a very clever decision there from Weatherly. So Donovan finds himself now up to P2, chasing down Richard Rees. It's Richard Rees looking for a potential victory. Different car classes of car, of course. Cross car for Richard Rees, and O'Donovan is in the RX150. Heading over the jump, we can see Atwell. He's got Luke Holly just chasing him behind. Oh, I'll tell you what, on the exit of the jump, Luke Holly is going to come through. Maybe a bit of contact between the two of them. And Atwell is the driver that is going to be facing the wrong way. So maybe just the slightest of touches there between the two drivers. And ultimately, yeah, it did not work out. Alex Spencer there in the number 96, racing with Stephen Jones. But there is the GB1 on the side of Patrick O'Donovan's car. But into the Joker we will come forward at number 96. That is Alex Spencer. And the battle for the lead is very much on now, ladies and gentlemen. Very much on indeed. So into the halfway point of this race. Patrick O'Donovan, who was off the circuit at the start of this race, is now battling his way back through. So Spencer with Ethan Rowles. Having another battle over the jump into the Devil's Elbow. Whenever you get these cars on circuit, it is just always fireworks. Always fireworks. Bananas. Absolutely bananas. From start to finish. So can Reese hold on then? Reese versus O'Donovan for the race win. They are both in different classes, remember. Of course, you can tell by the carts they're in. But there will be a battle for sure. You know that Reese is not going to let this go down not going to let O'Donovan make that overtake. You see all over the circuit there from O'Donovan using every inch and maybe a little bit more. Richard Rees still holding firm. There's Luke Holly a little bit further back over the jump once again through the north bend between our two race win protagonists. Again they're going to win their respective classes if they stay as they are but I am not opposed to having a little bit of action here as uh, Reese comes in to the Joker. So Richard Reese has brought the car into the Joker. We are now heading on to the last lap. So it's going to be all about the merge between the front two cars to see who wins this race. Of course, like I've mentioned, two different classes racing at the same time here. So I'm trying to give a best idea as to who is who. But right now it is Patrick O'Donovan that leads the way. Richard Reese in second spot. We've got a nice little battle a bit further back there. There's Max Weatherly in behind Will Butler. This is for a P3 overall in this race. Of 
of course, battling in the Cross Car Championship. Through the North Bend we come. Of course, it is the final lap of this race. Patrick O'Donovan will have to come through the Joker this time around. But what about the merge? Who's going to take the overall victory? We know that Patrick's going to win his class. And we know that Richard Reese is going to win his class. But they come across the line. Oh, it's so, so tight. It is so, so tight. It's a brilliant finish here in the Cross Car RX 150 Round 2 Final. I think Richard Reese may have just got that. Beautiful stuff. Oh, what a finish we have just had. Incredible, incredible scenes. As we see even more action a bit further back. Aswell just gained two spots around the final corner. Brilliant stuff. But confirmation it will be Reese that takes the cross car victory and O'Donovan that takes the RX 150.